sponsors. We're live here down at Waikiki Beach. Aloha, everybody. Aloha, Welcome. everybody. 75th annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. I'm so excited to be here once again, right next to you, Miss Brooke Lee herself. How are you, in How are you? Is, yeah. <laughs> this is a branded uh, parade for you in the 75th. I don't know how you were able to arrange that, but I'm excited to be here with you. Let's. Uh, we're so excited. It's the 75th. Uh, parade everybody's a little confused 75th parade which is different than the other numbers that they've seen for Ho'olalea or what have you but this is 75 years of the actual parade this is significant I mean how many things have gone on for such a long time continuing to per and perpetuate floats and flowers and you know communities um, it's takes a lot of people lot and of I people. think this year is nothing different in terms of nothing less if anything only more yes. elaborate floats a lot of pa'u units as mentioned so many people from across the islands have come together and once the world, again really because if you had come and visit here and you're on vacation you stumbled on a very I'm sure a lot of these people over here are wondering yeah, what is going on cultural event <laughs> today is going to be exciting to watch but speaking of exciting to watch we've got some very hard working individuals oh yourself included well yes but you know mikey and kelly yes. they've been out there uh hoofing it on the streets well speaking of mikey and kelly they are in the beginning of this route that we are on so let's toss it over to them and see what's going on with our living 808 crew good morning mikey and kelly how's it going Aloha, Brooke and Kamaka. It is going so well. Everyone <laughs> yeah. is already having such a great time. Right. The energy, it's just electric out here right yeah. now. You know, we were we had the privilege of seeing all of the floats not too long ago, and everybody is excited. They're ready to share the spirit mm -hmm. of Hawaii with, you know, residents and visitors. So I'm super excited for that energy to be spread throughout Waikiki. Definitely, because again, as Brooke and Kamaka were saying, this is the 75th annual floral parade for mm -hmm. Aloha Festivals, and it is a beautiful color procession of Hawaiian culture through Waikiki right. so both visitors and locals alike are all here and we've seen already some really great yeah. floats going by we had the um, Pa'u Queen just right. went by as well um, we saw some horses mm -hmm. we saw some marching bands hula dancers and the thing is though for the floats this parade in particular yeah. it's all about the florals so right. seeing the fresh flowers right. and the creativity right. that goes behind all the floats sure. it is just remarkable so we are feeling blessed and i know yeah. everyone is so excited i don't know bobby can we can we turn the camera can we see how many people <laughs> are here right There's now because yeah. the crowd is electric hello everybody say hi so we are at the corner right now of Atkinson and Ala Moana, and we see some bands coming. There are a lot of floats, so it's going to be a good time. I'm so glad we get to be out here. I know. I'm excited. All right, Kamaka and Brooke, back to you guys. We'll see you guys real soon. So much fun it looks like they're having on that side, but they're yeah. not going to have as much fun as we are going to have on this side. I mean, we're <laughs> going to have interviews with people. We've got the best seats in the house here at Alohi Lenny, so um, I'm excited to get this party started. Now, 75th anniversary, Pili Aina is the theme. You have any thoughts? Like, what what's on your vision board for this parade? Um, I hear Kamaka Pili first of all. <laughs> um, so I think it's perfect that I'm sitting here with yes. you. <laughs> no, yes. just kidding. But all jokes aside, Pili Aina, you know, the connection and the kinship with our land and our right. Aina, I think it's one, bringing the attention and the highlight on all our kupuna and our ancestors right. who laid down the footstones for us to be able to be here today. But then on top of that, speaking of today, keeping our connection with our Aina and, and the importance that we don't lose that connection. And, you know, connection is incredibly important, yes, for, even for us culturally. Um, we want to send our love and aloha and connection out to all of the people that are watching us on Maui. We love you. We're here with you. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And we are enjoying ourselves here in Waikiki, but our hearts are with all of you. Uh, we have a lot of pa'u units that are sending their aloha out to you guys as well. Um, I'm just excited to see some of the bands this year because I saw them as I was driving down the parade route earlier and they were all getting out and getting all of their instruments out and people have really no idea the prep that goes into you guys will see a little later in some of the packages all of the pa'u units and how much work that goes into it so many different I mean, hands. many hands yeah. many hands that go into the making of this parade and so we're just very fortunate to be able to sit here and enjoy all of the culture 
um, and share it all with all of you um, who've joined us today on television. So thank you for joining us. It's going to be an exciting, exciting 75th, I think. And, you know, speaking of many hands, one of the, the really lifelines of this floral parade this year is, of course, Hawaiian Airlines. So we want to toss it back to our buddies, Mikey and Kelly, as they're speaking with the none other Auntie Debbie Nakani Lua Richards from Hawaiian Airlines. Aloha everybody, hey. Kelly and Mikey here joined with Auntie Debbie Nakani Loa from Hawaiian Airlines. Now yesterday on Living It Away, we showed the preparation mm -hmm. of your flow and now we're here. It looks great. How are you feeling? Excellent. You know, it's again, you prepare and then it's transformation and it's parade day. So we're really excited to share the theme, Piliaina, the closeness that we as island people have to the relationship of our land and our water. So as you see our float coming down, it's this ocean liner coming with malihini of visitors coming down, reaching Honolulu Harbor, facing Mamala Bay, and there's the iconic Aloha Tower. So beautiful. Welcoming you to I Hawaii. Love I love that, and it's absolutely incredible. How long did this take? So construction started about three weeks ago, and every day you do a little bit. Last night, all the fresh flowers go on. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome job. And we can't wait to see you guys doing your thing down Kalakaua Avenue. Sailing down. Sailing, Sailing down, down Kalakaua yeah. Avenue. Auntie Debbie, great to see you. Mahalo nui. Mwah. All right, and again, the parade just about to be starting, so we've been seeing the beautiful dancers and the musicians warming up behind us. But you guys, it's about showtime, so thank yes. you so much for letting us pop in. The clock tolls 9 o'clock. There Very you go. Starting. Here we see go. You <laughs> Bye, you guys. I'm so excited. You know, Hawaiian Airlines always has one of the most elaborative floats. I mean, I'm sure I mean, you know that. They <laughs> come every year with some sort of drama and, you know, elements that, like, it's some next level stuff. But we'd like to send a big mahalo to Hawaiian Airlines for supporting this live broadcast of the Aloha Festival Parade. Now it's the, in its 94th year of serving the islands. Hawaiian Air, Airlines has always been dedicated to connecting people with Aloha. Hawaiian Airlines. Hawaii flies with us. So thank you so much to Auntie Debbie um, and all of the people that helped make that wonderful float happen. Everything. I mean, Hawaiian Airlines has been very involved in our community with different events such as this. The so it's really it's, it's good to see yes. it to continue. Community engagement. Speaking of Pili and Piliaina, yeah, yep. that's a lot of kuleana that they have. Um, and so we're very excited that they're a part of not only the broadcast, but the parade itself. We, we couldn't have it without it. Everyone looks forward to those floats every year. What about you? I mean, you're, again, part of this type of space. This parade is your space. Parade is in my DNA in vitro, I believe. My mother <laughs> has been doing these parades um, in some form. This will be her 16th year as the chairperson for the Aloha Festival's parade. Uh, 75th is a big, big year, so we're very excited. It took a long time to line up all of these wonderful people that will be coming down today. Everyone worked really hard. The civic clubs, all the halau that are going to be here, all the pa'u units, all of the marching units, Polynesian Cultural Center. Uh, just a lot of people that are excited to be coming from all of the different parts of the island to come here and represent and show their aloha right down the street here in Waikiki. So I think it's very important that we also have our hotels here, you know, lodging and places to be yes. able to accommodate all of these visitors and this experience. And one of those is, of course, Alohi Lani Waikiki Beach. The location and our partner for this year's Hale, uh, Aloha Festival's home. Floral Parade. Of course, we are sitting right in front of them. Mahalo to the Alo Alohilani team for helping to make this parade possible. And mahalo to Mary Beth and to Mike Cass, the uh, general manager. They've been so wonderful with us. We've shot a bunch of packages here. We've done a lot of work here. And it's uh, beautiful Alohilani. inside and if you haven't had the chance. it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. No wonder it was Liliuokalani's summer home. I mean, this is oh, just gosh, don't the get most me started into all those stories pristine just yet. place on the beach. <laughs> like you were saying earlier, it's such a torture to be looking at the ocean yeah. behind you guys. If you guys could hooli the cameras and see, like he's looking you, at the surf where the break right is. Now. It's beautiful. He wants to there. go run out into the water and then run back on camera, which, you know, a lot of people are like, go ahead. We're not going to stop you. Um, so, yeah, we are right here at the heart of Waikiki at the Alohilani Hotel. We're very excited. We're waiting for the parade to come down. We're going to be listening for that conch shell. Um, and we're anticipating uh, the wedge to come with the police department. And that's going to know how we're going to know it's going to be the official start of the 75th anniversary of the Floral Parade. One of the important parts of this parade is, of course, the Pau units from across the islands. And I know we have, uh, with Mikey and Kelly, we have some... Uh, want to contribute to that conversation for us to learn a little bit more. So let's toss it back to our buddies from Living 808. 
All right, you guys, Kelly and Mikey back here with you, and we are so excited and so blessed right now because the former Pa'u queens are with <laughs> us. The former, the present, and the future. And here to tell us more, we're bringing in Leala Cook. Good to see you. Um, tell everybody what it means to be a part of this flow and who's that picture of? Aloha kakahi akakako. Uh, we are representing the past Pau Queens. If you see two ladies in the yellow palaka, there were our former Pau Queens and also our future Pau Queens in Kepola and Pau. We are also honoring my mother, Lita Cook, as well as Auntie Denise Ramento, who passed away. They were also former Pau Queens. And my family, the Cook Ohana, we were the equestrian chairpersons for the Aloha Festival Parade for 35 years. Mahalo. Incredible. And, and you are a former as well. So what year were you a Pau Queen? I was 2010. Wonderful. And so you were able to be a part of it every year moving forward. Yes, I always try to help the next generation and teach them how to Pau drape, make lays, horsemanship. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of dedication. So. It takes a lot of yearly uh, preparation just to become a Pau rider. Well, it's it's hard work and preparation that pays off. You ladies look absolutely gorgeous, and the float is beautiful. So thanks so much for being here, and of course, being such a big part of it. Hallelujah. All right, you guys. So there you have it. The Pau queens, they're going to be making their way to you in just a little bit. But you guys, stay with us because more fun right here from the Aloha Festival Sport Parade in just a little bit. They look so beautiful. I know. I mean, they're so regal with the Pau. And once you become a Pau queen, you know, you just join a club. How does that happen, though? Can you just say, I want to be queen next year? You can. <laughs> it's not going to work, but you can. <laughs> Uh, you have to serve as a princess in, of every island, so you have to do it eight other times, like Pokemon. You have to collect them all, <laughs> and then you win, uh, and then you can apply to become the queen. So it takes a it takes eight years really to go through all of the different islands, uh, and then you can put your application to qualify for queen. Interesting. So, well. Yeah. Why don't you guys do your homework to see if that's something you would be interested in. We're going to take a break, a quick one, and we'll be right back with the 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. is to cherish and protect the reefs, the fish, the birds, the winds, and the land. <laughs> Giving back, that's something that lasts generations. Learn how you can Malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Before the sun rises, we're getting ready to help you get ready for the day. News, weather, and traffic every weekday morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wake Up Today on this Aloha. KHON 2, working for Hawaii in the morning. Is it a little cooler? Does it feel a little cooler to you right now? A little bit. The sun is starting Thanks, to be a little Kamaka. bit more directly working up. Working for Hawaii with that the breezes. You know, I was pretty on point last night, you if were. I do have I'm to say. I'm not going to lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> You're pretty good. Pretty You're good. welcome. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Welcome back to the 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. This is a milestone. 75, 75. years and a beautiful day to compliment 75 that. 75 years, yes. And, you know, it's just... 
the halal, I can't even begin to tell you how strong they showed up this year. They've got such large contingencies. They descended on those floats at the Hawaii Convention Center with a mission and a dream. So I'm excited to see what it is that they're bringing to the table today because they were no joke. Well, let's Game get face on. Let's let's get a little insight from that from a halal. We have a halal with our buddies from Living 808 again. So let's toss it back over to Mikey and Kelly. How's it going on that side, guys? All right, you guys, we had to stop at this float because they actually just won the Governor's Award. And with all the details, I have Kaimi and Fikake. Aloha, lady. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> okay, so tell us all about this. What is your hula halau and who all are we looking at right yeah. now? Uh, we are from uh, Halau Napuake o Koola Poko in Kailua. And this is our haumanas. And our keiki, <laughs> our nakeiki. Yes. And then we have our kumo in front of the convertible car. Yeah, and the kumo actually sent me back here because she <laughs> said it was all you. <laughs> so so tell us about your vision and how this all came about. Yes. So um, uh, Auntie Tony uh, talked to me about this joining this parade. And I said, yes. So from that opportunity, we actually, through this parade, our halal were able to unite as one. And this like whole entire month were like our special time together and Pilina together. So the concept of Pili Aina, yes. uh, our concept is a tea leaf because Pili Aina, Pili to the plant, and then we chose tea leaf because it's a significant plant as a hula dancer. And we take care of the plants and then plants take care of us. So that's our uh, theme, that everybody has a tea leaf and is shaking it. Wonderful. Yeah. Very beautiful. It's your first time. Have so much fun this year. Um, I know that you guys are going to be walking in just a little bit, but we can't wait to see you guys Thank in you. just a little bit. Thank, Thank you guys you. so much. Mahalo. Thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo. Yeah. All right, back to you guys. Two, one. Well, you know, there are so many different people to get their perspective and, and their reasoning for supporting the Aloha Festival's Floral Parade year after year, one of that being the Hawaii Tourism Authority. So we're here with Eliahi Johnson, who is the Public Affairs Officer of HJ. Thank you very much, brother. Tell us about, for HTA, what is, what is your kuleana? When we're speaking of events such as this, I mean, 75 years, and you know the importance of, of having this and, and holding the space in Waikiki. For HTA, what is, what is your kuleana? So our strategic plan lays out four pillars of our work, and one of them is Hawaiian culture. And so investing in opportunities like the Aloha Festivals where people can come and sing and dance and build floats and write pa'u and mm -hmm. those kinds of things that sometimes we only see at parades. It's an incredibly special time and we just really appreciate all the hard work of the many volunteers, the 3,000 people in the parade uh, and the many hands that make it possible. Year after year though, you know, and, and especially now with, with HTA and, and your new approach to this, this model of Malama Hawaii or, or Ku'uhome, you know, that, that re bringing the attention and the respect back to the land. Tell us a little bit about the update with that and how has that been, I mean, speaking of our visitors here, being able to see experiences such as this. Absolutely. I mean, the theme of Aloha Festivals this year, Pili Aina, it's all about that regenerative relationship with the land where a place is better for us having been there. And that's our, that's our goal for tourism, is to make sure that we leave a place better, right? That Hawaii is better, that people are investing in those local businesses with their spending and just really giving back. When you say regenerative, I mean, I'm going to be completely honest. That's a little big of a word for me. <laughs> so what, what does that really mean when you're speaking of regenerative tourism? Sure. So if we think of kind of conventional tourism as a net negative, sustainable tourism as a net neutral, regenerative model of tourism is a net positive. For HTA, you know, this is 75 years of Aloha Festivals. For the next 75 years, what are you guys as HTA and, and that organization hoping that this festival can lead towards or, or move towards in the next 75 you know, I hope that 75 years from now, there's still Pau riders coming down the street with beautiful lay, beautiful songs, right? All of that. And people still coming around to really experience the Aloha festivals in the same way that, you know, my dad did back in the 80s, building floats for duty-free shoppers, for myself as a kid watching the parade and just continuing that on for the generations to come. So for you, what is your favorite, you, the, the best thing about this parade for you personally? I just love seeing people's reactions. You know, I mean, the thousands of people lined up here in Waikiki, just really having those meaningful interactions with the 3,000 people in the parade, you know, just the excitement, especially for the Kamali, you yeah. know, as a father of a five-year-old myself, just seeing the excitement, the joy, 
Oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Awesome. Right on. Yeah. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate it. Mahalo, brother. Oh, mahalo. This is so awesome. Again, this is the uh, from HGA to many different other organizations with their hand within this Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. If it wasn't for all of them, we wouldn't be able to be able to continue such a tradition. So again, thank you very much, brother. Mahalo. You know, we have so much different things coming down here on the uh, this uh, year's Aloha Floral Parade. They are slowly making their way towards where we are. Again, we're sitting right in front of the Alohi Lani Waikiki Beach Hotel and Resort. Stick around because the 75th annual parade will be coming in just a bit. Stick around. So we're going to be coming down. You know, Brooke, one of the things that we have um, seen so many times is just the, when we're talking of the floats, the elaborate condition of how these floats are you know the different floral pieces but there's many other different pieces that's within these floats and it's unique because it's, they're all natural uh it's a floral parade so it's inferred there has to be some sort of floral element to whatever is in here even if there's just a walking unit my mom is pretty clear uh, about that because a lot of the decorated vehicles for example you're going to see a bunch of vw bugs born and raised in pearl city i i know me some lifted and some yodas okay um but they got to put flowers on the on the vehicles and a lot of them are confused they're like i'm just bringing my bug you're like yeah put put a couple plumerias on it buddy because that's part of the recommendations uh and the requirements to be in a floral parade so um yeah so a floral parade infers you'd have to have some sort of organic matter of some sort what are some of the the, the things that are used this year uh, you know, a, a lot of la'i because the tea leaf is, you know, ubiquitous, as they like to say. Um, I do know Watanabe Flores has been very generous with a lot of the uh, different units that have been using a lot of the things like that we have here in front of us, like the anthuriums, the proteas, uh, monsteras. But honestly, when you're talking about papakolea, looking at you, papakolea, uh, and some of the halaos, you're literally just going to grandma's backyard or anywhere in Kaneohe that someone's being generous and like, yeah, you want to whack the monstera bush? Go, take take a whack at the bush. I do that with the tea leaves all the time. Yeah, so, you know, you're, you're pili aina ing to the Olela Hawaii people uh, by helping people with their landscaping and then, you know, creatively using it in the parade. It's the circle of life, people. It's the circle of life. Oh, I think I hear. Do is that, we is hear that coming around? Hawaii's Slowly finest, coming around. Uh, the police department coming ahead? Could that be them? Well, that's, that's also a tradition part of this parade as well, right? Is it's the Honolulu Police Department that is and always the city county leading of Honolulu. the parade. Thank you, Mr. Rick, Mayor Rick Blangiardi, uh, because they have to close down the roads. They have to close down some of the parks. We're so sorry to the rest of you that are upset about that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of coordination that has to happen in order for us to be able to move these many bodies through. So it's a thing. I, I'm starting to see them down there. So right now we are going to be getting the beginning of this. The Honolulu Police Department is making its way down the road here on Kalakaua Avenue. Honolulu's finest, of course, the Honolulu Police Department. You know, how many how many different floats are there this year? Uh, I think there's a... Since the one who put it together. Like eight, maybe? One snuck in. The Pau Queen snuck in a float a little while ago. So it might be nine floats. Yeah, I think. Again, one of those is going to be Hawaiian Airlines, yes. who is always, always elaborate. On point. So I'm really excited to, to yeah, see what I'm they have to offer Yeah, I'm excited to see Aloha year. Tower come floating down. So we want to give Aloha. a big mahalo to our Hawaiian Airlines, supporting our live broadcast of the Aloha Festival's parade. Now, it in it's in their 94th year of serving the islands, Hawaiian Airlines has always been dedicated to connecting people with Aloha. Hawaiian Airlines, Hawaii flies with us. You know, there is always that feeling the moment you get onto a Hawaiian Airlines flight from someplace else, yes. coming back home, that the moment you're on the plane... Pog. <sighs> Pog. Pog. 100% <laughs> Pog. Yeah. Well, here we go. We have behind us the Honolulu Police Department, of course, as mentioned. They are always leading off them. and becoming the uh, first entrant in our annual parade for nearly 20 years. So we want to give you know them the parade has begun. a big, big mahalo to yes, HPD. Yes, close to 20 years now. Mahalo to Hawaii's... Uh, men in blue for uh, joining us every year to set us off right now coming up behind him we should be hearing the beautiful dulcet tones of the poo gracing oh, that, our parade there's today that poo. <laughs> oh nope the rest of the the rest of the wedge has to make their way down they're working make no mind 
people, not only are they in their finest, but they're making sure that everybody's safe and not crossing in front of Pa'u units. So they're doing a very great job. So here comes Hawaii's finest. As you can see, Honolulu Police Department Traffic Division Solo Motorcycle Wedge leading off the 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. This is how you know we're Mau Kau Kau, everybody. That means move out of my way. <laughs> but again, we are on the ending portion of Kalakaua Avenue. So these guys, I mean, every day, the one thing I, I give them credit for all the time is being in the hot sun in very, very dark and uncomfortable Yeah, and they're in full uniform. regalia. Full regalia today for the 75th. We're so appreciative of all their hard work. Uh, we know it's not an easy job, and we're just very grateful that they take the time out to come every single year. Every year, they're like, yes, Auntie Tony, we will be there. Shiny bikes, shiny shoes, uh, and we will be there to make sure that we start the parades off right. And then always following the HPD is, of course, the one and only Uncle yes. Babes. Uncle Babes, Likeke Bell. Yay! As you can hear everybody cheering for our wonderful... Hawaii's finest. Thank you guys so much. Throwing out them shakas. It's not an annual parade without the wedge. So thanks guys for being here and keeping us safe. Now, of course, you're going to be hearing the beautiful dulcet tones of the poo gracing our parade today is Hawaii's poo kane master, conch shell blower Likeke Bay Bell. He blows his conch shell today, just as our ancestors did thousands of years ago, to recognize the presence of our li'i of the past. His powerful sound of the conch shell summons our people, both Kama'aina and Malihini, to come together to pay attention as something important is about to begin. Likeke has blown the conch shell for nearly 76 years and has done so for U.S. presidents, heads of state, kings and emperors, governors, mayors, and the one and only Kamakapili. He is graduate of Kamehameha Amikaimoki High School, class of 1955. We are honored to have him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Likeke Uncle Babe Bell. I have to say, the camera isn't on his feet, but he is walking barefoot, barefoot the whole route. <laughs> Honored to have him there again this year. Mahalo, Uncle. Mahalo, Thank you so much uncle. for being here. Walk the whole way. And behind him, out there, he's going to blow the pool. Lungs of steel, that man. 76 years old. Look at him go. Barefooted, Kalakaua Boulevard. Behind yes. that handsome gentleman, we have more handsome gentlemen coming down. We had the Aloha Festival's official pr banner. And again, the theme for this year is Pili Aina, meaning having kinship with the land. Pili is my last name, <laughs> but it also means to have a personal connection to or a close relationship with someone or something. So Pili Aina, you have to be in the land. You have to huli kalima ilalo. Your hands must be physically connecting with the flora and the earth. It is time for us to reconnect in old and new ways with the land. Instead of you leaving your mark, get out, explore, and appreciate the beauty of the world and let it leave its mark on you. And coming up right behind them is the Hawaii Air National Guard. Royal Guard wearing authentic uniforms that are replicas of the uniforms using during the reign of King David Kalakaua. They're the Royal Guards of the Hawaii Air National Guard. This volunteer unit has marched in four presidential parades in Washington, D.C. and has participated in numerous state and community functions, including this, the annual uh, parade every year. You know, they are also very very uh what was the word there i mean they're hot <laughs> there are just i mean really he's not uniform. just talking physically because they're very handsome gentlemen <laughs> but he's talking temperaturally because There's... these are authentic replicas of the kalakaua era which that's i'm important. sure was hotter than now but... but i mean that that's a significance too what is the significance of the royal guard uh well they guarded the king first of all and so they were you know the most elite uh closest to the ali'i and for these the royal guard it is important that they keep these traditions alive these are also hawaii national uh, guard members but uh this is also part of their kuleana that they hold these traditions close uh and so they train separately from those other uh jobs that they have 
Um, and so throughout 60 years, the Royal Guard is currently commanded by Kapenamoku Thomas Mahi. And marching today, you have Kapenamoku Thomas Mahi, Koa Makiao Roberts, Koa Joshua Dulan, Koa John Kisano, Koa Alan Michael Kaanehe, and retired Kapenamoku, Daryl Bakhtad. And a special thank you to Daryl because he organizes this every year with my mom. As soon as tomorrow starts, he will pick up the phone and say, Auntie, we're in for next year. Yeah, so we the malama them and we thank them so much for carrying our colors. And following them is the head of Hawaii. Right now, the governor, Josh Green, proud husband, father, and physician. For the past 20 years, Governor Green cared for families of Hawaii Island as a doctor. Passionate about housing solutions, Governor Green helped create Kauhale communities to get unsheltered veterans, kupuna, and other most in need into safe housing options. Joining him today is First Lady Jamie Kanani Green. The First Lady was born and raised on Oahu in Kaneohe. After graduating from Iolani School, she received her bachelor's degree from Brown University. She returned home and obtained her law degree from the University of Hawaii William S. Richardson School of Law. After practicing family law, she decided to focus on child advocacy through policy and nonprofit work. Mahalo to Governor Josh Green and the First Lady for joining us today. We, of course, appreciate all your hard work on behalf of the communities throughout our island home. They're getting their steps in, Gov. That's the doctor in him for you, getting in those steps. <laughs> so proud to have him. Of course, coming up behind him, here's the protocol. We have them in order of, you know, their station in po the political realm. The governor is here. Now we have uh, Senator Sharon Moriwaki riding in an upcoming beautifully adorned convertible Mustang. Hawaii State Senator Sharon Moriwaki is grateful and delighted to join us here at the 2023 Aloha Festival Floral Parade. She's a key community leader in our state and she represents Waikiki in the state, in the Senate and the Hawaii State Capitol. Riding with Senator Moriwaki is a lovely songbird, Audrey Chandler, a longtime musician in Hawaii. And walking along with the Senator Day are some of her special volunteer organizations who truly epitomize the theme of Pili Aina. The, uh, one of the organizations, Aloha Hawaii Onipa'a, not only provides scholarships to Native Hawaiian students, but has long supported projects about conservation, environment, and sustainability. Also walking with Senator Moriwaki is the organization called the Waikiki Business Improvement District Association. It's the product of strong business, government, and community collaborations, which not only contributes to the economic prosperity of the state, but also works towards a clean, safe, and vibrant resort destination. Again, want to big, uh, give a big mahalo to Senator Moriaki as we all celebrate this year's Aloha Festival. I can't hear you because of the band. <laughs> Here comes the one and only Royal Hawaiian Band, founded in 1836 by King Kamehameha III. The Royal Hawaiian Band is the only band in the United States with a royal legacy and is currently an agency in the city and county of Honolulu. Their bandmaster is none other than Clark Bright, and drum major David Hirano leads them today. Let's enjoy some of the wonderful sounds of Hawaii's own, the Royal Hawaiian Band. The guest? Can you do it again? We want to give a, a... Coming up behind the band, here we see the friends of the Royal Hawaiian Band. Big mahalo again. Royal Hawaiian Band, but also Hawaii Tourism Authority, all the different hands that have been brought together for this. Again, Hawaii Tourism Authority, we had our brother Iliahi come here and share a little bit about their kuleana. So we want to give uh, a big appreciation to him, but also just the organization as a whole for doing this and supporting it year after Couldn't year. Couldn't do it without Hawaii Tourism Authority, so thank them so much. 
Um, as you can see, coming up behind this is the Friends of the Royal Hawaiian Band, and in the car, driven by Wayne Oshima, is Nicholas Schweitzer, who is a professor at the University of Hawaii. Um, oh, and here comes Polynesian Cultural Center, because... It's hard to hear you again. You know, I think we're going to have to take a pause on this. It's not a party without Laie in the house. PCC always so puts on the show. So, Talofa, Yorana, Malo, Lela, Bula, Vanaka, Kiora. And of course, Aloha celebrating 60 years this October. The Polynesian Cultural Center preserves and portrays the culture and spirit of Polynesia in a unique and uplifting way. Young Islanders from across the Pacific share their culture and talents at the PCC, which funds their education at Brigham Young University, Hawaii. Joining us today are feature performers from their world-renowned show, Ha Breath of Life and Onipa Alihi Luau. Okay, I'm, I'm up now. I'm up. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, following them, we have Keone Kaue, who is the 11th president of Brigham Young University, Hawaii. President Kaue is a graduate of Molokai High School and is the first Native Hawaiian to serve as university president. Located in Laie, BYU Hawaii is a four-year university that serves nearly 3,000 students from over 60 different countries. The university is sponsored by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and uses a unique work-study program that allows students with financial need to graduate from college debt-free. Students in the program work 19 hours a week, either on campus or at the Polynesian Cultural Center, and receive complete support for tuition, fees, and room and board. BYU Hawaii currently has about 200 students from Hawaii in their work program. Again, want to give them a big mahalo for contributing to our theme this year. And peeking out of that bus you see there is Sam Shankis, co-chair of the Aloha Festival's Board of Directors. She's vice president and director of marketing at the Royal Hawaiian Center. In Waikiki received the 2018 Lifetime Achievement Award from the American Marketing Association, Hawaii Chapter. She's been on the Aloha Festival's board of directors for over 30 years and has held executive marketing positions at Alamoana Center, Aloha Tower Marketplace, and Roberts Hawaii. Sam also serves on the Salvation Army Honolulu Advisory Board and Friends of the Honolulu City Lights, the International Council of Shopping Centers, and is a long-standing member of the Rotary Club of Alamoana. Now we have, of course, our royal float. What is the significance of this float? Well, the parade cannot, no float can go down here without the uh, official Aloha Festival's Royal Court first. So you are seeing this year's 2023 Aloha Court in all of their fine regalia. Uh, it's their first official float of the 75th annual Aloha Festival's Parade. It's not the Aloha Festival's Parade without the celestial support and with deep history and commitment to the Aloha traditions. Every year, volunteers sign up for the opportunity to be a part of the Aloha Festival's Court. Our Mo'i Kane, as you can see, is Derek Kia Aina Kiba as a retired Honolulu police officer and current Kumuhula of Halau Kealu'i Kamalu. He wears the gold-colored Ahaula and the gold-colored Mahiole. And his ano or character sets the mood and the tone for this year's court. Our Mo'i Wahine is Emma Lani Stone Pasqua. She hails from Mililani, Oahu, and is currently a program coordinator at the YMC of Mililani. She wears the gold color kikepa and lehulu, which is bestowed to all Ali'i chiefs. Our Mo'i Wahine reigns with the dignity and grace. And our Keiki Ali'i Kane is Karch Leulua'i Ali'i Chu Cho Tupua. He comes from Pearl City here on Oahu, is a junior at Mid Pacific Institute, and wears the gold colored Ahuula or cape and the gold colored Mahi. Ole or helmets. Next. Keiki Aliwahini this year is Makanani Kamakana Aloha Samantha Lea Matsumoto. She also comes from Pearl City, Oahu, and is a junior at Kamemeha School's Kapalama campus. We are so grateful for the two of them and the Kalai Moku, which is an important position. 
uh, of the court and serves as protocol officer to the Mo'ukane. He is Kavika Hubbard, and we're grateful to have him with us as well. Now we have, of course, our city council banner for Esther Kia Aina and Tommy Waters. Tommy Waters is a graduate of Kamehameha Schools, a proud graduate of UH Manoa Richardson School of Law, a proud waterman. Tommy has served as a neighborhood board member, public defender, Hawaii State Representative. He is currently the Honolulu City Council member for District 4, extending from Hawaii Kai to Waikiki. In addition, Tommy is the chair of the Honolulu City Council. And Esther Kiaina is the vice chair of the Honolulu City Council and represents District 3 of the Windward Side of Oahu. She's also chair of the Committee on Planning and the Economy. She served President Barack Obama, Assistant Secretary for Insular Areas at the U.S. Department of Interior, overseeing overall federal policy for the U.S. territories and financial assistance for the freely associated states of Micronesia. She previously served as the first deputy for Hawaii's Department of Land and Natural Resources, chief advocate for the Office of Hawaiian Affairs. Now behind them, we have our ambassadors of Aloha from Kamehameha Schools. I can hear the band coming down. I believe we just, nope, oh, here they come. They are one of the ambassadors of Aloha for this, the 75th anniversary. In the spirit of this year's parade theme, Pili Aina, or to have kinship with the land, Kamehameha Schools celebrates Aloha Aina, our love of our land through mele and hula. As one of the largest landowners in the state, our Kamehameha Ohana stewards Aina to be resilient so that it continues to provide us with physical, economic, educational, agricultural, spiritual, and cultural connections that are inherent to our native Hawaiian identity in perpetuity. Ola Mauna Aina Pauahi. The Kamehameha Schools Warrior Marching Band and Color Guard has performed worldwide to criti critical acclaim and recognition. First up, we see the Kamehameha Letter Girl Line and their proud letter line captain, Maya Inoue. Today's parade also includes the Kamehameha Hula Line, comprised of students from the middle school Papa Hula Meoli, under the direction of Kumu Aina Singh, and the high school Hawaiian Ensemble, and chant and dance classes. Let's take a listen. Does it make you reminisce? Oh, I wasn't a band person. I was constantly. But <laughs> I, there's a lot of respect, though. Mahalo well, the band the attired majors. in school colors of blue and white and celebrates their school spirit. The color guards are Lena Lee, Evan Rivera, and Megan Al, the drum major and drum Margaret Majorette. Majorette, helping to keep the band in are Caleb Takiguchi and Aubrey Andrews Nakila. The band is under the direction well, of... Go. Kristen Selly, let's take a listen once more as they start to fade away. I do miss it. I have a remnant. I wasn't in band, but I've always heard it. <laughs> You know, having so many people come together, especially students, I can only imagine how sh how much of a challenge that is. But year after year, they, they do it and they bring their game they and they make they a lasting game. impression. No joke. No joke. I think we should take a little bit I of a break. I need a little bit of a break. <laughs> <laughs> I need a rest. So you at home, go get yourself a get fresh a glass of water, get a snack. We'll be right back here on Kalakaua Avenue for the 75th Annual Aloha Parade. Oh, you know what? We have VW is actually VWs coming. Are we here. can't miss that. We can't miss City that. In the house. So we just like to send a warm welcome to Tapia and Leo Bringas of Kalihi in a 67 red fastback named Lady in Red. 
and also best of show winner in the recent VW Club of Hawaii Shaka Weekend Show and Shine earlier this month, Labor Day weekend, and Sal and Brenda Acosta with their Border Collie Brady of Pacific Palisades in the house in a 64 Turkish 21 window. The VW Club of Hawaii was founded in 1997 by a small group of friends in beautiful Kalihi. VW Club of Hawaii is an ohana-oriented group of old-school Volkswagen enthusiasts. Its mission is to perpetuate the vintage classic Volkswagen's culture, which provide an everlasting positive impact on the greater community. Trust me, you're going to see a lot of them. Oh, here's a past Pa'u Queen's float. It's coming up as well soon. But also, KHON is one of the sponsors because, duh, here we are. So mahalo to KHON because... You won't be able to see us here at your houses if it wasn't for our lovely sponsors at KH Win. We're working hard for Hawaii, Kamaka. Working hard for Hawaii. You know, that's in and out every day. But passing when it's stuff like us, this. But passing behind us is the past uh, Pa'u Queens on their float. Uh, these are all of the different Pa'u Queens, and behind them is a mounted unit, I believe, of the current. Is that the current queen? Beautiful Hi. as ever, very elegant. I love those papales, those hats. Queen Kapioleni Lorenzo is attended by her son Keahi as Queen Page. Her attendants are Teja, Alex, and Kaui. Her escorts are Lopaka, Jerome, and Kaehu. She's been riding since 1980 and continues to enjoy the experience. Her horse lays are made with Bird of Paradise, Yellow Spider Mums, Pink Carnations, Blue and White Status, White Football Mums, Protons, and Song of India. Kuipo continues to perpetuate the tradition of Pau writing, keeping Hawaiian culture alive and well. Her Malama unit is past us, and they were wonderful as well. Well, right behind us, we did have the passing of the Alohilani Resort Waikiki Beach banner, who, of course, we want to give a big mahalo as they are the sponsor for this year's Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. The resort sits where the city meets the sand in the heart of Waikiki Beach with an elevated, sophisticated design and programming that pays homage to Hawaii's rich cultural heritage. Alohilani Resort is proudly named in honor of Queen Liliuokalani, and the area where the hotel resides was once the royal grounds of her summer homes, Pawakalani and Kealohilani, which means the heavenly brightness. So this is how you know this is a live show, guys, because this is the actual Pau Queen. They snuck in a, a riding unit behind the past Pau Queens. We didn't even, they weren't on the lineup, guys. This is how, like, this is how organic this is. So this is your Pau Queen, ladies and gentlemen. Pau Queen Kuipo Lorenzo is attended by her son, the real Kiahi over here, uh, and her attendants, Teja, Alex, and Kawi. Her escorts are Lopaka, Jerome, and Kaehu. No, you're not in Groundhog's Day. We're reading it again. Uh, she's been riding since 1980, continues to enjoy the experience. Her horse lays this time around are made of yellow spider mums, pink carnations, blue and white status, white football mums, croton, song of India. And Kuipo continues to perpetuate the tradition of pa'u writing, in keeping with the Hawaiian culture that she loves so much. Her Malama Aina unit behind her was a mystery as of the time we got her bio. Uh, but we can see that they are dressed in the same regal blue, and we're excited to have them with us. We thank the queen and her all of her attendants for all of the work that they've done to make sure that the queen is doing her job. We're very excited to have them, and we're excited to have a guest with us right now. We've got our the Alohilani general back. Oh, here, there goes the Malama Aina. Everyone loves the Malama Aina. Hi, how are you? Aloha, how are you? My cast general manager here at Alohilani. How are you? I am fantastic. How could I not be this fantastic? This is your first parade it here. It is. Because you is. come to us from Maui. So tell us a little bit about how excited Alohilani is to be partnering with the parade this year. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you know what? 
all the great things that we do and all the great things we get to do, I think this is just the highlight of the year, right? To celebrate our culture, right? The things that make us unique in all the world, right? In all the world. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I mean, you're dressed appropriately for the event. <laughs> very festive, very festive. Uh, Pili Aina is the theme yes. this year, you yes. know, with a lot of kinship. Uh, with the Aina, and I know that Alohilani, that's very important to your heart. Do you want to talk a little bit about the sustainability aspects? Yeah, you know, one of the things that we do that I am so proud of, and not just, I would say proud, but I have personally done, and I know how moving it is, we're in the process of planting 100,000 trees on the east side of the island. I've done three so far, and I can tell you, when you go there and you're actually digging in the Aina, right, right and planting a native species tree, I mean, you talk about leaving a legacy, right? Is what we can do, leaving a legacy. It is it is unbelievable. And I remember when we talked about it before, you actually get like a chip in the tree. So you can like check in on your tree online. To well, it's see. like my baby. I have to keep checking on it. So yeah, I go to the satellite, look and make sure. And how they're doing. Yeah. And, you know, so you, you don't just leave your tree. The tree is always with you. Well, I was up there two weeks ago to visit mine from like three months ago. And it's already grown a little. I wanted to make a mark on something to see how it's growing. Yeah, It's fantastic. So what should some of the people know about Aloha Lani Hotel so they come down? Because it is the Kama'aina's place to go. Oh. Hi, Trolley. <laughs> I love this. We love Shriners. <laughs> we love Shriners. We love our Shriners people. Aloha, Shriners. Thank you for being here. So, Mike, tell us a little bit. So, tell us a little bit about what people can expect from Aloha Lani. What's coming up for you guys? Oh, gosh. There's always something. That's something about it. I think maybe it's, it's someone from Maui, right, coming here. There's always something, something going, going on. on. Right. You guys There's are always, always talking. something. Yeah. I think tonight what I would like, people need to come down maybe this evening before they go out or whatever they do this evening, maybe stop by Luna's. Get my favorite drink there, the Paloma. Ah. And my secret is with Herodora. Yes, oh, for wow. the Herodora Silver Paloma. Okay. Right? Okay. Have that maybe before you go out and do uh, whatever you have planned for the yeah, evening. Yeah, for the evening. And then I know you guys do a wonderful brunch. You guys are having like some so branded. I just, so I just had brunch actually up uh -huh. at Makanalani. So I actually will tell people. So she has a special this weekend, right? So tomorrow. You bring somebody half price. So you buy one, get one half wow. off. Wow, right? so for tomorrow. tomorrow okay. Right? tomorrow. okay, tell them the GM sent you. The GM, and have crab legs, okay? She has the best baker, I think, in all of Oahu working with her. Nice. Unbelievable brunch. Awesome. Unbelievable. Well, thank you so much for being our hale, our home away from home. We're so excited to be here. Oh, this is great. And thank we're just you. so excited that you're here. We hope you love your first parade. One of many I more to come. I love it. I love it. This many more to come. Thanks absolutely. for being with us. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Aloha. Um, I think behind us, we have the Grand Marshal lead, Pau Marshal. Uh, our lead escort is David Ramis from Kalihi Valley, currently living in Kaneohe. With him is uh, some of his other riders, Paige Darren Costellas, and outriders John Textera and Ben Padilla. They're actively involved as riders and the Aloha Festival's floral parade. They chose red, black, and yellow for their ensembles, wearing lehulu and also incorporating tea leaf coupe. Kukuna Okala incarnation in their horse lay. Their Malama Aina cart is a horse decorated with tropical flowers. David and his hui are proud to be a part of the 75th anniversary. Oh, we got more VW bugs, I see. beautiful. I do want to give a, a big shout out and a big mahalo to Enjoy Snacks. Hawaii's largest mm. provider of island style snacks since 1994. Enjoy products include arare, candy, island style dried fruits, taro, taro chips, <laughs> cookies, dried good. seafood, and more. Next year is going to be Enjoy's 30th anniversary, and you had me at taro chips. <laughs> <laughs> Again, many different snacks, hands coming together sure. to bring this all together. It's been a beautiful morning so far. Yes, it has been a little warm, but everybody's been playing nicely thus far. As we can see here, coming up is the Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs Decorated Vehicle. Association of Hawaiian Civic Clubs is Hawaii's oldest advocacy movement, and this year marks 105 years of community organizing and service to our Lahui. 
Prince Jonah Kuhio, our beloved Ali and statesman, established the first Hawaiian Civic Club in 1918. Today, the Association of Hawaiian Civic Club includes 62 member clubs and about 3,500 members across the Paiaina and the continent, from Hanapepe to Washington, D.C. Representing the association today are Malia and Victor Nobriga Oliveira, board members and president and director of, of Manok Halania Po, Kauai Council Moku. Malia and Victor are very hard workers in the salt ponds of Kauai, keeping the legacy alive and truly pili aina. Uh, we are loving having them with us today. Mahalo to them for being with us. You know, we cannot have too many bands. Nope, never too many bands. Never Come too on, many. Pili. And this time, and it's time to bring the attention to the Moana Lua High School Band fields a 135-piece marching band. The official name of the band is the Moana Lua High School Menehune Marching Band and Color Guard. The band is composed of 75 winds and 25 percussions, three drum majors, and a color guard consisting of 32 members. The marching band has achieved countless number of awards and recognition, and I don't think I have to explain why. Let's take a little, a little pause to see if we can listen to some of their beautiful sounds. The 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade is proudly presented by these fine sponsors. Here comes this year's, oh, nope, we're having Hawaii's Finest with us right now in a banner coming up. Uh, Hawaii's Finest is born of the little island of Molokai. Since then, Hawaii Finest has expanded worldwide and has been a journey to bring Hawaii the very best in local apparel and music. Known as the people's brand, Hawaii Finest strives to represent and support all things Hawaii. Aloha Festivals is honored to be working with a homegrown brand that cares so much about Hawaii's people and culture. As the official merchandise sponsor, Hawaii Finest is producing its exclusive 2023 festival merchandise with designs inspired by the 2023 festival theme, Pili Aina, to have kinship with the land. The exclusive limited time release includes t-shirts, jackets, jerseys, board sport shorts, polo shirts, stickers, and more. Merchandise is available now online on the Hawaii Finest website and at the Hawaii Finest stores at Alamoana Center in Kapolei at Kamakana Ali'i and of course on their Pico Island of Molokai. Of course. You know, we had one ambassador of Aloha, so let's introduce our next ambassador of Aloha. The, ambassador. the ambassadors of this year's. You know, we couldn't have picked any better of a duo. Let's nope. welcome the one and only Natalie Aia Kamau'u and Iolani Kamau'u. The Aloha Festivals has been a part of this couple's lives even before they had met. From serving in the royal court to performing in countless performances, even dancing down this very parade route, they did it all. After marrying, they continued this beautiful tradition and in 2010, along with their son Chaz and daughter Chalet, they regained, they reigned as the Aloha Festival's royal family. Iolani and Natalie Kamau are this year's top winners in the Nahoku Hanohano Awards, receiving honors for Female Vocalist of the Year, Best Hawaiian Music Video, Best Hawaiian Single, Song of the Year, and Album of the Year. Their music speaks of their love for Hawaii, their, their onehanao, their birth, the sands of their birth, for the beauty of this precious aina they feel so blessed to call home. Both being born to Kumuhula parents, they've stepped into these roles and have taken on the mantle of responsibility to teach the importance of Pili Aina to the next generation. They now, very fortunately, call Waimea their home. 
I don't want to call Jealous. that lady out, but you're not, you're not supposed to touch the ambassadors of Aloha, so marshals, do your jobs. Anyway, so next, coming up, we got Partners in Development, started in 1997 with Partners in Development Foundation founders Jan Dill and Morris Takushi and the late Gary Glenn. We're talking story about what they can do to address the gaps in resources and services available to Native Hawaiians. 26 years later, PIDF is one of the Hawaii's leading nonprofit organizations, having served over 150,000 family members in more than 50 communities through free programs and services and multi-generational educational. As PIDF has grown, it has also nurtured the Manao of Pili Aina through their farm, Kupa Aina. PIDF's vision is for healthy and resilient communities throughout Hawaii, including few food security and self-determination through the engagement of our youth and families caring for the Aina and each other. We empower healing and mahalo to the partners in development on their beautiful trolley. I, yep, that's the trolley is very you know, decorated. We want to again give a big mahalo to many different people who have been putting this together and one of it is of course the Royal Hawaiian Center. The broadcast of the 75th annual Aloha Festivals has been brought to you by the Royal Hawaiian Center which is the gathering place of Waikiki. And sending out a mahalo to our broadcast partners at Salt and Air for their amazing production and cinematography, helping us to elevate the video production of this amazing 75th annual Aloha Festival's event. So mahalo to them for partnering with us this year. We're just taking it to another level, Kamaka. Another level, I gotta say. And speaking of another level, let's talk about our pa'u units. Oh, is Kaho'o Love up? The color of gray. Yes, introducing the island of Kaho'olawe is Wahine Page Brianna Skeen. Princess of Kaho'olawe Gloria Avakuni's lei is Vili style, made of the elegant hinahina picked from our Aina. Mahalo to her attendants, Carrie and Karen, and their handsome escorts, Clayton, Ryan, and Dallas, for learning and perpetuating the art of lei making and the art of pa'u. Mahalo to all of our hardworking Malama Aina helpers for their aloha, their cart, Behind them symbolizes peva, like the wooden patch that holds what is broken and brought together, a sign of healing to represent kaho'olawe. Kohe malama o kanaloa, the peva gives us a hope that we can bring these damaged places back to life. Peva recognizing the old kaho'olawe and turning it into the new kaho'olawe. I am just always amazed by what they have to come out every year and just what they put together. And yeah. the time, I don't know personally, but I can only assume the time, especially to make a horse lay. I mean, that looks just the so complicated. The horse lay is next level. And to be able to control the horses in this environment with all of these people everywhere, it's really quite a feat. So we really are very, very appreciative of the public units because it takes upwards of $10,000 per unit to be able to make it um, onto the the stage with us so we're very very grateful to the pa'u units every year for all of their dedication now behind them and next on the list we are seeing and representing keone okakuhi heva the oahu council of the association of hawaiian civic clubs council vice president auntie georgiana navarro auntie georgie is a longtime member of the makaha hawaiian civic club and is very active in her waianae community Keone Okakuhi Heva is the Association of Hawaiian Civic Club's oldest and largest island council, comprising of 26 clubs from across Oahu. The council is dedicated to uplifting and advancing our Hawaiian communities through advocacy and civil engagement. Eo e Keone Okakuhi Heva. Eo e Kealii Kuhio. And behind them, you see the VW Club again. Coming in is Ken and Loveland Voorhees in a 73 Super Beetle named Orange Crush of Aiea. So mahalo to them. And of course, Palisades Elementary School in the house, 53 bus represent. We love, uh, they're, they're representing today with their Aloha Hula was created back in 2004 as an after school enrichment program. Uh, their instructor is Makua Leilani, who's also been the Hawaiian studies teacher there for the past 29 years. They're here every year like clockwork. Mahalo to them for being with us today. And what next island do we have coming down? Mi'i Hau is in the house. Representing the island of Ni'ihau is the Pau Princess Diane Pualani Aki Textjera. Originally from Kaneohe, Oahu, she currently lives in Aiao. She works as the Department of Transportation Harbors Division. The princess chose brown and ivory as her island colors using all different types of shells that will be in the horse lays. 
unit we're laying the Lehulu style and representing the colors of the ocean. Blue for the ocean, white and brown for the shells. Found on the sand and also of the waves. This is Diane's second year as an Aloha Festival Flora Parade Pau Princess. Pau Page Banner, Lance Kellab Bantolina and Pau Laid Escort, Jimmy Allen Ramento. You know, and behind them, we, I don't think they get enough credit, but Pooper Scoopers are just Malama as Aina. important as the, the elite who, don't who like the pooper are represented. That didn't test well in Kalihi. <laughs> but we love the Pooper Scoopers. We love our Malama Aina. They've gotten taken it to a whole other level with the themes of them, and they all get judged and they get prizes. So. Congratulations to the Pau units for all of their great dedication. It's a year-long service. That's right, and we have so many more uh, floats and units to be coming, but we are going to be speaking with many different other people. Again, many hands have come together to make this possible. As you can see, we have an, the Pooper Scoopers for that Pau unit making its way down. But one of the organizations that continue to play a significant role within Waikiki, but of course the Aloha Festival's floral parade as well. I'm so fortunate to be able to have some type of connection with them for many years, and we're speaking of the Royal Hawaiian Center. I want to please introduce the Vice President, Director of Marketing, Sam Shinkis. How are you doing today, Sam? Oh. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. It's a beautiful, you look beautiful, a, very, a beautiful compliment to this floral parade. I looked better at the beginning. I did too, <laughs> I gotta say. <laughs> well, you know, being from Royal Hawaiian Center, uh -huh. why is this so important that you guys contribute your support every year? You know, Royal Hawaiian Center opened in 1980. From 1980, the Royal Hawaiian Center has been a major supporter of Aloha Festivals. Remember, it's Kamehameha School's land. Mm -hmm. So the Aloha Festival, because we celebrate and perpetuate the Hawaiian culture, the question would be, why would you not? So we're all in. So aside from this, then, at, at your guys' center, you have many different cultural programs. What other things are you doing to contribute to that cultural education, especially for our visitors? Well, one of the things that's really important for visitors, everything we do is free. There's no charge. There's no, oh, you have to have a room or you have to have a connection. Every single thing we do as it relates to the culture of Hawaii is free. And there aren't a lot of free things in Waikiki. I agree with that. And it, But it's a commitment that we have that Hawaii, the culture is as important as the ocean, as the beautiful coconut tree. It's It all comes together with the people. So when we're speaking and going back to the theme, Pili Aina, to uh -huh. have that kinship with the land, yes. that sounds like it's a vital part of Royal Hawaiian Center. Oh, of course. Because it's Hello Moa. I mean, the, the statue of Princess Pauai oh. sits right there. Well, and you know what's wonderful is that a lot of people, they don't know all that. Yeah. But they spend time in the Grove, and they go, oh, who is that lady? And they learn. And I think that's the beautiful thing is we have these things that are uh, allowing us to start conversations. You mentioned yeah. the Grove. I'm going to dork out just a little bit for those uh -huh. who may be unfamiliar. But Hello Moa, the Grove you speak of, was the area of once had the 10,000 coconut trees yeah. at one point yeah. and many different kings and yeah. royals had their houses, their residence, yes. their estates down here. For you personally, uh -huh. I know you have been part of the board of Aloha Festivals for many, many years. So Over you, 30 years. For you personally, what does this mean for you that this can continue to happen every year? Living in Hawaii is both a joy, but it's a responsibility. Hawaii doesn't stay this wonderful when nobody does anything. So we all have a responsibility to not only enjoy where we live, but we have to give back to our neighbors, the visitor, our fellow residents. We're one big ohana. And I don't think people always get that until they come and then they go back home. And there isn't somebody picking something up for them that they dropped on the floor. 
they're not freaking out if they lose a wallet. It, it's just part of the fabric of our life. So real fast, and my last question is, for those, and I'm one of them to be honest, uh -huh. it's a love-hate relationship with Waikiki, especially uh -huh. for local people, but I love these events because it gets to bring them back and right. to see the importance. Right. What is your thoughts on that? Oh, absolutely. And you know what? You know, closer to the beginning of the parade, I've been in this parade for many, many years. I see the same people every year under the same tree. So the parade or Ho'olaulea, it's an opportunity for everyone to come together and just have a good time and to create memories. Oh, you know? Yeah, I agree. Oh. Thank you very much, Sam. That was awesome. Again, Royal Hawaiian Center, be yeah. sure to visit them. You know, we do have our other half of our team from Living 808 in the other side of Kalakaua Avenue. So let's toss it over to uh, Kelly and Mikey to see what's going on on that end. What's up, guys? Hey, Kamaka, we hey. actually made our way a little bit closer to you. Yeah. So right now, Castle High School's marching band is right behind us. And the, everyone, the keiki are yeah. bringing it. It was weird to call them keiki because I feel like They're, I was no, just yeah, in yeah, my yeah. high school marching band. But, but the floats, the, the cars, everybody is being so creative with their designs. We just saw a car with Lahala on the hubcaps. That was so cool. So this is Castle High School. And everybody is just in a good mood. What are you liking so far about the parade? I mean, for me, I was, I know uh, Brooke and Kamaka were talking about the bands earlier. I was in marching bands, so yeah. I remember these days, you know, getting to do the parade. Yeah. It's such an iconic thing. And oh, we got the color guard here too. Beautiful ladies. I see, I see the twinkle in your eyes when you see them. But so, so for me, the yeah. marching band, I think, is one of my favorite things. But I mean, where we are, you know, Kamaka sure. was just talking about a love-hate relationship with Waikiki. Today, it is love, love, love. I mean, sure. the water is beautiful. I literally, right before we went she live, put her feet in. I went and dipped in my feet in the water. It's just <laughs> gorgeous. The weather is amazing. The crowd behind yeah. us that have all come out to really support Aloha Festivals, the Aloha Festivals Floral Parade, and Hawaiian culture is incredible to see. I agree. I agree. I'm totally on that same vibe with you. It is all love. It is all Aloha. And we're bringing you guys more in just a little bit. But until then, Brooke and Kamaka, back to you guys. Hey, stop. Thanks, Mikey. It's awesome. Thank you, guys. Well, you know, on this end, we just had Southwest Airlines pass us by and continues to do so. And I want to give a nice shout out to them because, you know, for more than 50 years, Roland King and Herb Keller together, they got together and decided to start a different kind of airline. Long story short, it was all about making it more affordable at the lowest possible fares. That is how Southwest Airlines came about. They started their journey, at least here to the Hawaiian Islands, March 17th, 2019, with their first flight. Can you guess it? Number nope. 808. Oh, of course. Of course, right? And you can probably hear in the background, that was Castle High School that came by with their marching band. We want to send them a lot of love uh, because they came a long way to perform for us. So we thank them so much for being a part of it. Uh, we also have coming up, when we get back, we got a lot more parade for you. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. The word malama translates to taking care. We malama the land that feeds us. All of that energy that's being put in the ground gets transferred into food. It allows us as a people to thrive as well. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Lasso your hunger with Paniolo's Hawaii. At Paniolo's, you get to create your burrito, taco, or bowl from scratch. Choose your base, protein, and toppings for a mouth-watering meal as original as your hunger. Delicious Southwest-style grinds made with fresh, locally-sourced ingredients like grass-fed Hawaii beef and veggies from local farms. Mosey on in to one of our three convenient locations today. Kahala Mall, Kapolei 
Commons, and Kailua Shopping Center. Introducing Tropigo Hawaii Hard Candy Collection by Enjoy, the perfect snacker when you are on the go. Eight different tropical flavors and exciting designer bags. Now available at local retailers and online. It's time to enjoy life. The 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade is sponsored in part by Bloomingdale's, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Big Brown Bag. We want to mahalo the Alohilani Resort Waikiki Beach for your sponsorship. They are donating $10 from every upcoming hotel booking to support Maui families in need. Royal Lahaina Resort and Bungalows on Maui, their sister property, has provided over 200 rooms to Lahaina residents. We just want to give you a very, very warm, heartfelt mahalo. In addition to that, we also want to give a big mahalo to Hawaii Tourism Authority, sponsoring this great event and if it wasn't for these sponsors and many many more we wouldn't be able to put together the 75th aloha festivals floral parade welcome back hopefully you guys had a quick break we continue to see some gorgeous units making its way down we just had the uh, unit the pau unit from lanai with the beautiful color of orange yes. Decorated unit and dance group this year, Kumu Hula Patti Kea Lohilani Wright. Kumu Kea celebrates 50 years of teaching at her halau, Halau Napua Kea o Ko'olau Poko in Kailua. Carrying the halau banner is Brian Miyamoto and Kaisen Parker. Kumu Kea is riding in the antique red 1934 Model A Roadster owned by Mike Emerson in Kailua. Riding on the float are are the youngest dancers of the halau ranging in age from four to seven accompanying them are the kaikamahine from an older class and the keiki and the kaikamahine are the treasured pua ensuring the next generation of hula dancers mike parker is the driver and following the float as you can see are the rest of the halau's two new kum newest kumuhula jasmine pikaki miyamoto and Shiori Kaimi Lani Kohler and the lead organizer of their float preparations. They proudly wear a tili skirt. Very symbol of the hula girl, Lai, is a foundational symbol of this halau. The important value is to perpetuate and appreciate Hawaii's cultural and spiritual beliefs. The nurturing of the tea plant teaches every haumana, their kuleana to aloha aina, to give back to our honua, to give back to our earth as they accept it, its bountiful blessings. Tending their tea leaf plants is helping them rediscover and grow their entire community's pili aina to represent the ideals of pili aina. The halau to show that is dancing three different mele. We have Aloha O'ahu danced by the keiki on the float. Hemele Laula'i, which tells the story of how the halau joyfully uses the tea leaves to adorn their bodies. And Kaua Ikahua Hawaii, also known as Hawaiian War Chant one of the Halau's signature hula numbers and is sung by Bella Richards. And here comes the commander of the U.S. Army Garrison, Colonel Steve McGunigal, and his wife Margaret, also a colonel in the Army and commander of the 130th Engineer Brigade, along with their two daughters, Amelia and Maeve. Colonel McGunigal chairs the Army's Native Hawaiian Advisory Council, which is comprised of Hawaiian education, religious, business, and civic leaders. This esteemed group of Native Hawaiians aims to promote and respect the understanding between the Army and the broader Native Hawaiian community. The Council's covenant was signed in 2010 between the Army and the Native Hawaiian leaders solidifying their commitment to one another. And here, here I, comes the infantry band. Let's take a little, a little break. Infantry division band. Across the Indo-Pacom area, their environmental to accomplish their mission and set the conditions that lead to trust and confidence in America's army and its readiness to conduct operations in times of peace and conflict. It was constituted on 12 October 1943 in the Army of the United States as the band's 25th Infantry Division. It was activated on the 1st of January 1944 in New Zealand and redesignated on May 15, 1944 as the 25th Infantry Division Band. And it was allotted on 27 June 1949 to the regular army. As we have a VW has passing behind us, it's the VW Club. 
of Hawaii, which was founded in 1997 by a small group of friends in beautiful Kalihi. The VW Club of Hawaii is an Ohana-oriented group of old-school Volkswagen, as you can hear. Enthusiasts Al and Janet in their 1964 Bombay Blue Bug of Makakilo. You know, I, I just got to say, that there's Abby so the much cool sharing. For sure. Proceed. Sharing now, this is use. an interesting story, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Follow me on this. These keiki you see here today are walking this entire route. They were supposed to be in a trolley, and there was a whoopsie, and we couldn't get a trolley. And so we gave them the option to drop out, and they said, Aole, we come in anyway. And so here they are walking the entire thing and singing at the same time. Hawaii Youth Opera Chorus was established in 1961. It's Hawaii's longest-running advanced children's youth choir. We're so proud to have them in every single year. Local composers are commissioned to create works based on Hawaiian legends and life in Hawaii. And this coming summer, they will debut their ninth opera with the opera based on an original story by a native Hawaiian author. We want to give a big shout out to one of our sponsors, Bloomingdale's. Of course, if it wasn't for all these different hands, we couldn't put this together. Bloomingdale's is support and you know, they're just supporting local and, and to find some of Hawaii's most amazing Sponsors local brands important. within it, you know, especially their Ala Moana store, that's how they're supporting. And I think from them also being Many able to hands. contribute yeah. to this, it only brings it and makes it such a well-rounded, really support system for I don't know about you, dude, people. but like, I need a nap. <laughs> what about you? Like, that's a lot. I, I'm really, I'm kind of keeping up with the like energy. The there. senses. I don't know if you're getting it at home. But so like, many people around in here. 3D. It's a, it's a lot to process. It, it's it's packed. I mean, though. the Pau units, Lanai, Kaho'olawe, Ihao, all came to kill. The Queen, of course. You know, we have to acknowledge her as well. But I mean, and the people have just been like on point. Everyone's cheering and wahooing and chihooing and. I mean, I'm still like, I don't think I've recovered from Polynesian Cultural Center. I know. Like, that was like a wa you know, speaking, walking monster drink. Aside like, from what? the Cultural Center, which they, of course, PCC, I think, comes I'm to mind. I'm thinking for EA. How are you give, not tired? We want to give a big shout out to Hawaiian Airlines once again for sponsoring this event. Hawaiian Airlines always makes an elaborate, uh, an elaborate event. I don't but think a we've shout seen out to Hawaiian yet. Airlines for helping make this live broadcast of the Aloha Festival's parade possible. Hawaiian Airlines offers more than 120 flights between every island. Of course, Hawaiian Airlines, Hawaii flies with us. I'm just very excited it for the parade to bring us the Hawaiian Airlines float because we've seen it teased in packages. We know that there's an Aloha Tower that's involved. We know there's mochi involved. We know there's Wait, there's sesame, mochi involved? Nobody there's told sesame me that. There's sesame seeds involved. I know uh, Mikey said. I don't know if he tasted them. But, uh, yeah, but behind us we have, in a decorated vehicle, Miss International Hawaii, newly established pageant that's in town. Miss International Hawaii is the only pageant in the state which provides a direct international experience to its winner. This is a preliminary to the prestigious Miss International held annually in Tokyo, Japan. It's also the only pageant that competes under the Hawaiian flag recognized as a nation within a nation on a global scale. Maka'ala Perry, the current queen holding the title of Miss International Hawaii 2023, is a Hawaiian Airlines flight attendant and singer. She's 24 years old and she attended Hanalani schools for high school and the University of Hawaii at Manoa for her college years. Her aspirations are to bring awareness towards sustainability and release her first recorded Hawaiian album next year. Of course, coming from the very prominent uh, Perry family. Yes, that is her mother, Brandy Grandike, is also a flight attendant. And her father, Laakea Perry, there is a go. very renowned kumuhula. Now and coming down. It's if wonderful we, to we have, have her with us. Mahalo makana. We have the color green oh. representing the island of Molokai is our Pau Princess Tiana Ka'eo. Originally from Honolulu, she currently resides in Mililani. This will be her first year riding as princess. Of course, you know it takes eight times to become a queen. She will be adorned with kukui and other foliage from the Aina. She's honored to be representing the island of Molokai and its people this year in the Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. Their page, Darren Bortmes Ishi. Malama Aina, representing the Molokai unit, Tiffany Chong and Riley J. Velestiana. They're a small but mighty unit. Like, let's be clear, Pau units, you can be very 
large, you can be very tiny, as long as you have a princess and a page, that's all you need to qualify for. Um, and we're just proud to have Molokai being represented this year. Uh, so mahalo to them for making it out to be a part of, with us today. Uh, we now have with us the Honolulu Hawaiian Civic Club decorated vehicle. Hawaiian Civic Club of Honolulu was founded by Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalani Anaole over a hundred years ago as the Mother Club established on December 6, 1918. Riding the parade is President Anita Naone, Secretary Francis Yoshimitsu, Director Otina Haidt, and Driver Director Kaleo Paavarez. Mahalo to all that Honolulu Hawaiian Civic Club does. Oh no, it's Kaleo Paavarez is driving. Get year. off the road. <laughs> <laughs> Move away. Kamaka knows. Kamaka knows. <laughs> you know, I got to just say that for I, I can only, for you, mm. being raised in this type yes. of environment, the amount of work that you have to go through every year. And for me, I get to just sit here and enjoy. Because aloha. See? I See, told them get off the road because fine. you're driving. But while while we're doing this, let's toss it over to Mikey uh, and Kelly because I guess they're plying people with some wonderful mea ai or some sort. What's going on with you guys, Kelly? All right, you guys, we have to give a big shout out to Enjoy Snacks because not only are they keeping yes. us energized, but they're also about to keep the crowd energized too. And we are going to be talking about some of the delicious sweet treats that they have. Yeah, we have three different types that you guys, that we want to tell you guys about. But let me just say, this one is super cute. I think they're really going to enjoy it. Yeah, so this is, oh, enjoy. Yes, this is the Moneki Neko 3D Gummy. So the Lucky Cat, and it comes in three different flavors, pineapple, lychee, and plum, which of course, as we know, is ume. All right, so I'm going to pass this along, but yeah. what do you have there? Okay, so while Kelly's passing that along. You guys, the next one is this Tropico Hard Candy Ooh. Lychee flavor. And this, this actually comes in different flavors. So this comes in a pineapple, There's melon. Mango. That's mango. There's that one. Yeah. Pineapple, melon, okay, Thai tea, Thai here. coffee. And they're going to be getting that one. There you go. That's right. And then the newest one too, the lychee gummy. Check this baby out. Now these actually have multiple bags yeah. inside and we're going to be giving these away so a big mahalo to enjoy snacks not only for decking us out but of course keeping everyone energized and feeling sweet out here i know we love feeling sweet i don't have a sweet tooth I think and, I might... and speaking of let's spread the aloha we're gonna spread it all right back to you guys there you go spread that aloha <laughs> They're having so much fun. We want to mahalo the Kauai Pau unit, representing Kauai is our Pau Princess Siobhan Kiana Okamura, originally from Lahaina, Maui. She currently lives in Mililani. Siobhan chose royal purple and lavender as her colors. Together with her unit, they picked sea grapes, ferns, lavender, crown flower, tea leaves, and bougainvillea to villi into their lei. Siobhan's horse lay is mostly made with purple anthuriums, lavender, ferns, and tea leaves in the haku style. Their malama aina card portrays a pili aina mo'olalo for Kauai. Six additional facts that you'd like to know. Siobhan's fifth year as Aloha Festival's Floral Parade Princess, so you know what that means. We'll be seeing her shortly as a pa'u queen, I'm sure. Their banner, Travis Maxwell of Wahiwa. She is the attendant, first attendant, Sunny Maui Minor of Haula. Second attendant, Sosi Ramis of Honolulu. Lead escort, Willie Piena of Kunia. And one of her other escorts, Jez Faria of Kalihi. And Lee Iboshi of Eva. Mahalo to the Kauai. So when I see the banner that says Grand Sweepstakes Winner, what does that mean? That means they're win a win a chicken dinner. Win a win a chicken dinner. And who are we talking about? Hawaiian uh, Airlines. Pass. Of course. <laughs> Hawaiian Airlines float is decorated with the Pili Aina theme, which reminds us of those that have come before us, those that had a profound respect and awareness of place. So much so that everything was called by name. We focus on the name Mamala, the unmistakable bay that welcomed Kama Aina and Malahini alike to our shores. Hawaiian Airlines float this year pays homage to the time of ocean liners and iconic Aloha Tower. As the music passes by, let's take a little listen to the Hawaiian Airlines serenaders. Now that Aloha Tower was completed in 1936 and stands 180 feet tall, but it's made with rolled oats, cracked black pepper, green mango beans, sesame seeds, black beans, and mochi rice. The ocean liner is made with red pepper powder, nori, and white mums with other flora and fauna. And isn't that your guys' group? 
You mean the ones that sounded amazing? Yeah, don't you dance with them? Um, it depends. Every now and then. It depends what day it is. Ah. <laughs> or how I feel. Just kidding. <laughs> no, yes, Hawaiian Airlines Serenaders, of course, the one and only Kavika Trask and his troop, always entertaining wherever they go around now, the world. I believe this is Miss Aloha Hula behind us. We want to give another shout out to Enjoy Snack. Maneki Neko 3D Gummies, the cutest gummies you can find. Three cute lucky cat poses in three tropical flavors. Wow, pineapple, lychee, and plum ume. That sounds delicious. Aside from that, we also want to give a big shout out to Salt and Air. Today's broadcast has been produced by Aloha Festivals, KHON2, and Salt and Air Studios. Mahalo to our hardworking team who helped make this event possible. And of course, from KHON2, working for Hawaii. I think that's a perfect way to kind of round Segway up this event. Segway to the Waianae yes. uh, Civic perfect Club? Segue. Totally, totally. Sultan Air and Waianae for sure. Hawaiian Civic Club of Waianae was founded in 1935 and has a rich history and clear mission to preserve and promote Hawaiian culture and traditions. The initiative is to distribute pocket-sized Olelo Hawaii dictionaries to fourth graders and is a commendable step toward achieving their vision of having all Waianae residents become fluent in the language within the next 50 years. Overall, the Waianae Hawaiian Civic Club's efforts to preserve native culture and promote the Hawaiian language and enrich the Waianae community are essential for preserving and growing Hawaiian heritage and traditions. Pelikikena Georgette Stevens, board members B.S. McEwen and member Emma Brom with the driver St Stephanie Cavello are joined Joining us. Mahalo to Waianae Hawaiian Civic Club. And behind them, follow them, the Kalihi Palama Hawaiian Civic Club. The so other we just wanna, Yes, we just want to give a big mahalo to all the civic clubs who was able to participate this year. Mahalo to them so much for being a part of all of that we do here with the civic clubs. Their Ohe Kapala Kihe was inspired by the Ohe Kapala Master, the late Moana Isley. She's called upon to share her ike with the members of the Kalihi Palama Hawaiian Civic Club. She's a proud member of the Pearl Harbor Hawaiian Civic Club, and we miss her dearly. Uh, we love you, Auntie Mo and Aizi, for all of your kapa designs, and we are so proud that people still wear them today. Now, joining me uh, here live uh, in front of the beautiful Alohi Lani is Mr. Rick Eggett. Hello, sir. Hey, what a great parade. I can't believe you've made it over here. You're a busy man being in charge of everything. How are you? Uh, actually, your mother's in charge of everything. <laughs> we all know that. From day one, uh, we've known that. She um, does. Her, her mother, Auntie Tony Lee, does a great job organizing this parade every 16 year. 16 years strong. 16 years strong now. So people are wondering, what does it take? You know, there's a board, many hands make the 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 uh, board in light, but what does it take to produce the Aloha Festivals Parade? Well, part of the big problem, of course, is always is fundraising. Yes. Because even though there's like 3,000 volunteers yes. involved in putting together the parade, yes. you still need funds because you got to pay police officers. Permits. And permits, yes. and you have to... Uh, pay the street the street closure yes, signs. And, I mean, so there's still a lot of a money lot of that's costs. necessary. Yes. Our biggest sponsor is Hawaii Tourism Authority. Of course. And but uh, they've been their money has been constricted. Yes. So we're hoping to get back to pre-COVID levels next year. Fingers crossed. And uh, then of course uh, we have Alohilani. Yes. Is the Wonderful parade sponsor. sponsor. They've been terrific. Uh huh. And the support from KHON. Yes. We just love the partnership with KHON. It's been a grand, grand partnership. And then of course we also have uh, Hilton Hawaiian Village as a presenting sponsor. Yes. You know we have a. a Number of other sponsors, Hawaiian, Hawaiian Airlines, Airlines, yes, Hawaiian Airlines, Royal Hawaiian Center, yes, and um, Kyoya Hotels, which is all the Sheraton Kyoya's hotels. Kyoya's lovely city and county comes. City and county of Honolulu well. is also a parade sponsor, absolutely, and um, I'm probably missing some others. Uh, Hawaii's finest, we have a great Hawaii's finest. Uh, you guys have really hit gold with them as the merchandise yeah, they, sponsor. Yeah, they've been terrific partners. Yeah, I saw a whole lot there. They were going crazy. Absolutely. And, even Outrigger, Waikiki, of course, yes. the, the visitor industry is very supportive. All of the visitor industry. But you know what is really exciting about Aloha Festivals is how popular it is with our, our residents, too. Yes. I was at the Waikiki Ho'olalea last Saturday. It was at least, crazy. At least half of the people were locals. Right. And, um, you know, I was talking to this uh, 
uh, police officer. I, was, I always check with them to see me. He says, oh, every, the crowd is great. He says, this is a great event. I'm going to bring my family next year. <laughs> when I'm not working. <laughs> when he's not working. Right. And so um, we're really excited uh, about the success of Aloha Festivals this year. But as always, it's, it's challenging it raising is. funds. And it starts again tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> You have a moment to rest, and then tomorrow you turn the page, and we're on to the 76th. Correct. Well, thank, thank you, you so much for being with us today and for all of your hard work. Uh, the 75th is no joke, so we're glad we're all here together. Okay, Thanks thank so you, Brooke. Thank here. you for being here, too. I think you saw behind us coming up is the Maui unit. Uh, everybody's hearts and minds are with Maui right now, so we want to malama the Maui Pau unit and thank them for being a part of everything with us today. Uh, in the spirit of Piliaina, we want to just thank all of them. You can hear all of the wonderful people that are cheering uh, for all of them, princess and escorts alike, and their banner pages. We love ourselves, uh, this group from Maui. Um, and behind them, as you can see, is the Papakalea group. They insisted on being right behind the Maui unit because they have a close pili aina, if you will, with the princess from Maui uh, as she has ties to Papakolea. So we are very grateful uh, to be able to have the Papakolea trolley and all of the, the people with us from Kimbalo, Kilawahine, Hawaiian homesteads. Uh, the Papakolea is known as a landing era for migrating Kolea birds that travel the Hawaii to Alaska in the same way that the generations of Kolea have made their way annual journey back to our shores. Our aloha for this Aina will always connect us to our beloved homestead. We honor Pili Aina with three Kolea birds represent, representing the three homestead communities we serve, Papakolea, Kivalo, and Kalawahine. Today, Kula is proud to support the Maui Pau Unit Princess, Kivalo resident Faith Kalamau, and to share our aloha with all of you. Eo Papa Kolea. I gotta say a big the, when once Maui started to come down, the, the crowd around here just all stood up to give them their support. Again, once again, all of our love here from Oahu shared with those impacted on Maui. We love the Maui unit. Mahalo so much to all of them for being with us today. Maui was definitely felt here at the parade. Here we Yellow have the Pau unit of Oahu representing the island of Oahu is Princess Naili Lai Kalani Vieira, originally from Punalu'u, Oahu. She currently resides in Pearl City together with her unit. They are adorned with Lei Ilima. Their unit's horse lays are Vili Vili style. Some of the foliage featured in their horse lays are a variety of colored Lai protons, bird of paradise, and mums. This is Naili's fourth year of riding in the year um, of Pau Princess, following behind Princess Naili Liu Lai Kalani, and her unit is their Malama Aina cart. Featuring the island of Oahu, their page is Kekahu Bailey, attendant one is Emerald Pimoku, attendant two is Nicole Kapu. Lead escort is George Wong, escort number two, Mike Correra, and escort number three, John Akana. Mahalo to the Oahu Pau unit. I have to say, yellow is my favorite color. <laughs> I, I gotta, have... I gotta give a big mahalo again. We had them on here earlier, just a little bit. Royal Hawaiian Center, one of our sponsors, Mahalo Nui Royal Hawaiian Center, the gathering place of Waikiki. If you haven't already, it's a great place to check out, especially their Helumoa Center stage area. Aside from them, we also want to give a big shout out to Alohilani Swell Pool and Bar. Check out Swell Restaurant and Pool Bar located next to the stunning Infinity Pool at Alohilani Waikiki Beach. They have a sustainable happy hour menu with earth to cup crafted cocktails, locally sourced favorites, and more. That is sounds super interesting. Aww, as you can hear behind us, it's New Hope Float. The club was founded in 2000 by the led by head coach Sai Kalama. You can hear him saying, Kia Ilahaina behind her. Their mission is to reaching people and touching lives and paddling his canoe with aloha that glorifies God. New Hope Canoe Club deserve, desires to de develop relationships and serve their community. There's a beautiful koa canoe, the Kai Ilua, translated as two waters and built in 1952. 
by master builder Frank Henriquez in Naopopo. Since then, it has gone through many changes under the guidance of Uncle Bobby Puakea and recently with Ron Lee to where it is today transformed, formed to paddle among our island reefs and channels and to race in his canoe. We are pleased to introduce and welcome the New Hope Canoe Paddling Group with their core canoe, Kai Ilua. Elua. You know, this next one, I have to say, she has amazing, She's amazing like the products. She's of Hawaii, this Jaylene Kanani. You, you're going to want to have some noho home in your house with Jaylene Kanani, who is the owner. Special delivery of their Hawaiian-inspired luxury home decor right here at the Aloha Festivals Parade. Noho Home reimagines the modern Hawaiian home with connection and rooted in Aloha. Its founder of Noho Home will be opening her first store pop-up in Ala Moana tomorrow, tomorrow, October 1st. So be sure to stop by and say aloha. And of course, you heard that was Kamaha'o Thronis. Can't miss that boy's voice since uh, we saw him on a uh, song contest a couple of months ago. He's been everywhere. It's people like him that make people like me um, <laughs> left Feel with like a very a horrible voice to sing <laughs> with. <laughs> uh, that's... Here, here so comes the taking big it to island the of island of Hawaii, the beautiful color of ula ula or red, representing the island of Hawaii, is the Pau Princess Mililani Smith. Originally from Pau'o Valley, she currently resides in Waianae with her beautiful Ohana. She is an educator at Lehoku Elementary in Waianae. This will be her first year riding as princess. Mililani will be adorned with Lehua, Liko, and many other foliage from the Aina representing the island of Hawaii. The Malama Aina cart tells the story of Pele and the precious Ohia tree. Mililani and her Pau unit is honored to be representing Hawaii Island and its people in this year's Aloha Festival's Floral Parade. Its page, Micah Rodriguez, first attendant, Charlene Ellis, second attendant, Rosanna Awai, first lead escort, Jeffrey Gasper, second escort, Keola Young, and third escort, Julio Asing. Beautiful. Hawaii Island always has such a tricky thing to do because, you know, we have a kapu on the Liko Lehua and it is the flower of the island. So it's always interesting to see how they're going to be able to, you know, get around that for their judging. But don't go anywhere when we come back. More of the 75th Annual Aloha Festival Store Parade. The 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade is proudly presented by these fine sponsors. Festival's Floral Parade is sponsored in part by Bloomingdale's, celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Big Brown Bag. Welcome back. back. That's right, 75 years of the Aloha Festival's bucks, Floral Parade. Like. There's been a lot of VW bucks today, my man. <laughs> I've only been here for three years, but how has the other 74 years been? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just kidding. He's getting a little punchy towards Just the end here, kidding. ladies. Just kidding. You know, we had asked the question, what's the most fun thing about doing this? I got to say, it's sitting next to Brooke. Aw, oh, come on, Boop. I okay. love these bugs, bro. Come on. I have to say, we these are... We don't have clearance are... for the music, boo. Turn it down. Bro. It's a part of Hawaii's culture to see some of these things come through, and it's always an awesome sight to see. Uh, we love it when, the when they come through a lot of Dennis Kavales of Kalihi. I think uh, we love these drop bugs. I mean, they every year they're asking my mom, how many can we get in? How many can we get in? So we love having them as a part of our group. Uh, they bring the thunder every single year. So mahalo to all of them for bringing their wonderful restored bugs to us every single year. I've always wanted to have a bug. Yeah. But I, I realized that um, well, I was very highly recommended not to do it unless you really know how to fix it because if you can't fix it yourself yeah. It's a very very expensive car it's to have like <laughs> But yeah. I just love vintage things so yeah. we crossed that one off the list But this one we have 
Miss Latina Hawaii says, Buenos dias to Miss Latina Hawaii's outstanding team 2023, Te Anui Agosto. Te Anui is currently a senior with an ambition of becoming a pilot. Her community service initiative is a Nature N Nurtures All. Once more, Nature Nurtures All. I love that. She represented the Hispanic community in the Miss Hawaii Teen Competition, placing second runner-up. She will be passing on her title to the next winner come January. I believe behind her... Following her, have we have the... Miss Plus, Plus International, International South Pacific Island. Dione K. Kaeo is a reigning Miss Plus World South Pacific Island 2023. She attended Kamehameha Schools, Las Vegas Academy of International Social Studies and Performing Arts and holds a BA in Psychology from Stanford University. Dione is the CEO and president of Paradise Island Fashion Week and an instructor of runway pageantry workshops. Good thing you said that because I didn't know how to pronounce her name and I didn't want to mess <laughs> it up. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Beautiful. You know, again, we have many different hands coming together. Want to give a big shout out to Enjoy Snacks, Tropical Hawaii Hard Candies, new for 2023. Eight unique island flavored hard candies, perfect for all occasions. Flavors include guava, lychee, mango, melon, passion fruit, pineapple, Thai coffee, and Thai tea. I love Thai tea and Thai coffee. Again, once again, a big mahalo to Enjoy Snack, but also to Hawaiian Airlines. We're sending a big mahalo to Hawaiian Airlines for supporting this year's live broadcast of the Aloha Festivals Parade. Hawaiian Airlines is a longtime partner of the Aloha Festivals, reflecting their commitment to sharing aloha and perpetuating the traditions of our home. Hawaiian Airlines, Hawaii flies with us. I believe behind us. And speaking of flying, the day is flying it's by. It's flying I have by, to say. but we have the Chi Miss Chinatown organization with us. These girls were just newly crowned. I mean, they literally were crowned like last week. Uh, so we're so grateful to have them with us. And the first car was Miss Chinatown Hawaii Queen Sarah Liu, graduate of McKinley High School and the University of Hawaii Van Manoa, where she received her bachelor's degree in English. Second car, Miss Hawaii Chinese Queen Amelie Tam and Miss Hawaii Chinese First Princess Connie Huang. Amelie is a graduate of Sacred Hearts Academy in the University of Hawaii Manoa, where she received her bachelor's degree in biology and a minor in medical anthropology and is employed as a medical assistant. And in the last car, we have Miss Hawaii Chinese Princess Carolyn Feng and Anyao Liao Ondacek. Carolyn is a graduate of Punahou School and Santa Clara University, where she received her bachelor's degree in neuroscience and a minor in creative writing and is employed as an executive assistant at Ann Naba Designs and aspires to create and sell her own accessories and illustrations. And Anya is currently attending Mililani High School and is planning to attend Pomona College, where she plans to obtain a degree, her business degree, and is employed as a hostess at Jade Dynasty, where she aspires to be an entrepreneur. You know, we had the banner that passed by Mayor's Award. What yes. is that? Uh, that means Mayor Blangiardi gave his thumbs up and that they won his award. So uh, everybody is competing today. It's all a competition, my man. Awesome. Well, Many this different awards to be given out. Coming down next, we have the United Fronts of the Royal Hawaiian Guards and Hawaii Royal Honor Guards serve as a symbol of resilience and Native Hawaiian identity. Youth ranging from the age of 15 to 22 years old from high schools across Oahu learn values, cultural perspectives, and native sourced history. In addition, they conduct community activities as an honor guard becoming a living symbol of aloha. The guards you see are dressed in colors of blue, white, and red in essence of our Hawaii royals. Skilled in the art of exhibition drill, they follow commands in our mother tongue of Olelo Hawaii. Under the command of Paolo Falea Fine, Michael Ligse, Jeff Dicho, Scott Hoapili, and Paiea Kamohoa Hoa, we present to you Nakoa Kiai Ali'i Hawaii, Namea Ikeia.
On behalf of the Aloha Festivals, we would like to remember our ohana on Maui. And people still need so much of our help. If you want to give or are looking for a nonprofit who is doing good work, please check out the Hawaii Community Foundation and the Maui Strong Fund. Scan that QR code on your screen for some easier access to that. In addition to that, we want to also mention Luna's Tequila Bar. Tantalize your taste bud with tacos and tequila at Luna's Tequila Bar, located lobby level of the shops at Alohilani. You can enjoy a wide selection of tequila and guacamole. Ooh, that sounds so delicious right now. Made table side. Open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 5 to 10 p.m. is to cherish and protect the reefs, the fish, the birds, the winds, and the land. <laughs> Giving back, that's something that lasts generations. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Introducing Tropigo Hawaii Hard Candy Collection by Enjoy, the perfect snacker when you are on the go. Eight different tropical flavors and exciting designer bags, now available at local retailers and online. It's time to enjoy life. This is Charlie. Charlie was shopping online and just found the perfect chair. The chair Charlie bought is there, and they can deliver the chair for free there, there, or even there. But Charlie lives here. That's where we come in. We're shipped to Hawaii, and we can get the items you want shipped from there to here. Large or small, you find it, you buy it, we ship it. ShipToHawaii.com The 75th Annual Aloha Festival's Floral Parade is proudly presented by these fine sponsors. is to cherish and protect the reefs, the fish, the birds, the winds, and the land. <laughs> Giving back, that's something that lasts generations. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. so much fun um i'm having a blast how are you doing this has been a really great time i mean it's so crazy that you know this is the ending of aloha yeah. festivals it kicked off exactly a week ago right here in waikiki on kalakawa with the ho'olau lea that's right which you hosted no it was so fun i hosted actually right here in front of the olohilani yeah. resort last weekend Carol everybody Kai! came out and i can't believe that we're wrapping it up all here today i had so much fun with you always a great the energy show. is crazy uh i 
Yeah, I don't know how to say it, but I, I love it. A big mahalo to the Aloha Festivals for putting on such incredible events yeah. throughout the week, celebrating Hawaii and Hawaiian culture. And a big mahalo to all everyone that came out, the That's floats, right. the parades, the bands, the parades, <laughs> in the parade, all the pageant girls that we saw. It was a lot yeah. of fun. So thank you guys for tuning in. But, uh, all right, Brooke, oh, welcome back to you guys. We got to get some water. See you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys, Thank for you all guys. your guys' hard work and giving out all that enjoy snacks. I wish we'd gotten some, but it's okay. We're catching them on the back end. It's cool. You know, we just did have somebody significant who passed by. Well, yeah, I wouldn't be born without her. So Tony Lee did uh, come by here. She's always the last uh, person in the parade in her Mahalo car. That just happened to be my brother's personal car this year. Uh, and this is her last year as the chairman what? of the Aloha Festival's parade. She is hanging up the hat and passing on the torch. No so thank kidding. you to mom for 16 years of doing wonderful work at the Aloha Festival's parade. Uh, but this is what she likes to call her haina yamai on the kapuana, her, her refrain of aloha and goodbye. So mahalo to Tony Lee and Charles Kapua for all of their hard work. Uh, all of these set past 16 years uh, with the Aloha Festival's parade. I'm sure whoever they pass the torch to has got some big shoes to fill. That's not you. No, Aole, it is not. <laughs> but uh, we just want to mahalo Tony Lee and Charles Kapua for all the work that they've done over these years for the uh, Aloha Festival's parade. And thank you, Kamaka, for being here with me and helping me get through all of this. The 75th, it's been a... A thing behind us you'll see these are the street sweepers what city and county is all about they help keep us all malama and pili uh the the grounds behind us we leave it better than we found it that's our culture and the way we do it mahalo for joining us with the 75th annual aloha festivals parade i guess we'll see you maybe next year oh i'm definitely going to be here if this camera's here or not <laughs> it is a beautiful you know this i, I gotta house. say this year i wish we were able to experience the whole route but i mean the, the whole parade passed us by we where we are seats, but we definitely had the best seats not just because 100%. of everybody passing by but to see everybody here walking past as we mentioned on top these visitors may have no idea that this is going on <laughs> but for us to have the opportunity to showcase just a little bit of what our culture is all about i think that's for me personally what events such as this should be about totally totally thank you again you know what, what we're going to be doing, we want to give a big mahalo to once again to all of our sponsors, including Hawaiian Airlines. Of course, Hawaiian Airlines is one of the major ones. The final mahalo goes out to Hawaiian Airlines for sponsoring this live broadcast of the Aloha Festivals Parade. Of course, we couldn't have done it without your support and your aloha for Hawaii's hometown carrier, of course, being Hawaiian Airlines. Fly Hawaiian Airlines, and when you fly Hawaiian Airlines, Hawaii flies with you. Mahalo to Hawaii Tourism Authority as well, and the Aloha Lani Hotel, our home away from home. Over here, Royal Hawaiian Shopping Center, a lot of the other hotels that have been on board. We mahalo all of you for all of your great support of the Aloha Festival's parade year in and year out. And, and one of those hotels that we do want to mention in particular is the Aloha Lani Waikiki Beach, of course, one of our major sponsors where we're sitting in front of. A big mahalo to you. And, of course, it wasn't just these organizations, but many, many different Yeah, and all of the community hands. that came out to support. They brought their decorated vehicles, their horses, their love, their aloha, their halau. Uh, there are many hands to help support with the floats. It takes a village, Kamaka. It takes, it takes a, village. a village. And in the 75th, they turned out proud. And, of course, we had a big contingency here from Maui showing their love and aloha, especially sitting behind us in the pink shirts. Uh, so again, we send all of our love and aloha out to you on Maui. You're in our hearts. I do um, want to give a shout out to those who you cannot see on camera. There are many different production and technical people who are behind these cameras yes. in our ears. Been and here if since it wasn't for them, building yep. all our sets, making sure the lights work and all of the tech. So big mahalo to everybody. Thank but as we take a look at the screen, of course, just reminiscing as we end off a lot of our Hawaiian songs, Haina Ia Mai on a couple one, as you mentioned, to tell the refrain, to share what we have shared already. So a little review. But I kind of want to just share, you know, we've mentioned a, a many, many different names. Yes. Um, but a couple of those being, of course, Kalakaua, uh -huh. as we are here on Kalakaua yes. Avenue. We mentioned Kuhio, which is the other very significant and prominent uh, roadway um, that traverses yes. through Waikiki. And just to give some 
deeper meaning behind those names and who they are. So when we say these names, it's not just Kalakawa or it's not Kalakawa. You know, it, we, we right. say it with more meaning and intention because as we enter Waikiki from the Ala Moana side, once we cross over that bridge and we get into Waikiki, we are blessed with the statue of King David Kalakaua as the road splits between Kalakaua and Kuhio Avenue. King Kalakaua was the last male ruling monarch of the Hawaiian Kingdom. His sister, Queen Liliuokalani, Kalani, followed him as she was illegally overthrown, bringing the kingdom to a close with her overthrow in 1893. Of course, there are many of us who continue to support the kingdom. One of the other ali'i, again, we mentioned Prince Jonah Kuhio. Prince Jonah Kuhio Kalaniana Ole was the, and continues to be, the only royal member of the United States Congress. Of course, he being of the Hawaiian royal bloodline, his auntie actually was Queen Liliuokalani. He was in line at one point to be a successor of the throne. And they were all represented very well here today in many regalia as far as also with the Civic Club movement. Uh, with the Royal Hawaiian Band, as you saw, the Ali'i's uh, legacy is alive and well here with the 75th Annual Aloha Festivals Parade. We are so excited to well, have been here that, together and yes. with all of you. Mahalo for being with us. Mahalo. Until next year, aloha, ahui ho. Mahalo. Festival's Floral Parade was proudly presented by these fine sponsors.